So when the story broke sometime back, you doubtless remember it, that the Loudoun County School Board in Virginia had been covering up the sexual assault of children in schools, parents naturally began protesting. And then one father was arrested for complaining about the sexual assault of his own child at a school board meeting. But thankfully, parents didn't back down, and the former school superintendent in Loudoun County was eventually indicted appropriately for his role in the cover-up of sexual abuse. And an investigation ordered by Virginia's new governor, Glenn Youngkin, found that the school board administrators misled parents about sexual assaults in Loudoun County last year. Now, Glenn Youngkin is calling for another investigation into whether students at Virginia's top high school, TJ, the Thomas Jefferson School for Science and Technology, face discrimination in the name of something called racial equity. Governor Glenn Youngkin joins us now to explain. Governor, thank you so much for coming on. So to the first story, it turns out this cover-up was real. Is that is that what you've discovered? Yeah, absolutely, Tucker. And first of all, Happy New Year. Uh, Happy Virginia New Year. still con continues to be absolutely at, the, at ground zero when it comes to standing up for parents' rights with their children, for recognizing that kids need their parents in their lives, and for standing up for excellence. And that's exactly what we found in Loudoun County. You know, I ordered, I ordered this investigation uh, on day one of our administration and our Attorney General Jason Meares went to work. And oh, by the way, the, the Democrats immediately condemned it, saying it was all political. Well, the reality was the Loudoun County School Board had in fact worked to cover this up. These poor young women should have never been assaulted. And the superintendent has been fired appropriately and uh, indicted. Uh, this is the work that comes when we shine a bright light on these, these uh, heinous cover-ups that we know are going on. And now we see in Fairfax County uh, uh, violations of civil liberties where we have students who had achieved uh, a, a real accolade to be a national merit scholar and they weren't told. They weren't told because they didn't want to make the other students feel bad. And when you have a superintendent in Loudoun County who expresses a desire that all students will have equal outcomes, no exceptions, this is the kind of just crazy behavior that you get from principals and administrators. It's not right, it's not consistent with Virginia values and American values, and we're gonna to go to work to make sure we fully understand all the facts here. It's also a violation of federal civil rights law, isn't it, to discriminate on the basis of race? I didn't think that was legal in this country. Well, that, absolutely, and that's also uh, what I've asked the Attorney General to look into uh, in a violation of Virginia's civil rights laws. Uh, and this is the reality that after eight years of liberal progressive Democrat leadership and eight years of school boards not being held accountable, we're holding them accountable. And it's as if they kind of thought I might go away, Tucker, but I'm not going away. I'm making sure that we're going to stand up for parents' rights. We're going to make sure that our children have their parents engaged in their lives fully. And when we see a problem, we're going to go to work and root it out immediately. Yeah. Well, th thank you. I mean, Thomas Jefferson was apparently the best high school in the country, and you hate to see it. To see Tucker, it. this is one of the finest schools in the nation. It's constantly ranked number one for science and technology. It's a meritocracy. We had to pass a law last year to redirect the admissions of Thomas Je the Thomas Jefferson School to be based on a, merit a, a, a meritocracy as opposed to a, an aspiration for equal outcomes and admissions. But this is, right. this is the challenge that we have, and this is why Virginia is at the forefront of making sure that parents' rights will be protected, and this idea of hard work and achievement will be valued uh, in all our schools, but particularly in our governor's schools like Thomas Jefferson. Yeah, if you can have a meritocracy in the NBA, you can have one in our schools, it would seem. Uh, and I appreciate your work on behalf of that. Governor Glenn Youngkin of Virginia, thank you very much. Thank you, Tucker.